Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today uh, we are going to solve day 3 problem. So as you guys already know that as part of this series we are going to solve one question daily on this platform. So if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet then please subscribe it. Okay, so without any delay let's get started with this problem. So this is the day 3 problem that is number of laser beams in a bank. So uh, let's read the statement first. So here anti-theft security devices are activated inside a bank and we have given a zero indexed binary string array. So what does it mean zero index? It means that in all these rows the first index is always zero. Okay. So th this means that zero indexed. Okay. So we have given this zero index binary string array representing the floor plan of the bank which is a m into n rows into columns 2d matrix okay bank i uh, represents the i row and it consists of zeros and ones so zero means that the cell is empty and one means that cell has a security device okay and here there is one laser beam between any two security devices if both conditions are met which these two conditions are met that means that there is a one laser beam so what are the two conditions the two devices are located on two different rows okay so here you can see this is the first row so three devices are here in the first row and two devices are on the third row okay so yeah so there is a laser beam between them so from this there are two be laser beams from this there are two laser beams and from here there are two laser beams okay and the second condition is for each row where r1 is less than i less than r2 there are no security devices in the i row. so what does it mean so it means that from here from this first row to this fourth row there is no laser beam why because in between them there is a two security devices already there in this row row 3 okay so he, here it is clearly mentioned if there is any security if there is any security device installed between the two rows then there is no laser beam between them okay so here uh, this is the first example okay so here you can say uh, see that in the first row we have total one two three four five six six laser beams and from here to here total two so in total the answer is eight okay so here two things note first let's make a logic of this problem how we can solve this so here this is the input and output okay this is the input okay so here uh, this is a string of array okay so first what I'm going to do I'm going to pick this on this one okay so let me copy this one okay so I pick this string first okay this is the first string that I have picked so in this string I am going to find the number of ones okay so there are total three ones in this string okay after that I am going to pick this string and I'm going to find the number of ones in this string so there are zero number of ones so I am going to discard this one I don't need to use this one because there is no connection so I discard this one after that I'm going to find the number of ones in the next string okay so I'm going to pick this string and here what are the number of ones two okay so now in first string and in third string I find the number of ones okay so now I am going to just multiply multiply the result let's say multiply the time multiply the t t means times okay multiply the times how many times one occurs okay so 3 into 2 output is 
6 3 into 2 output is 6 this is the output when I multiply these 3 with 2 because there are total 6 connections na? 6 laser beams from these 3 to 2 ok so now once this is done then uh, I am also going to store the number of ones store the number of ones store the number of ones from last row from last row okay from last row so here this is the first this is the second I discard this one this is the third one so here in third one I get total two two ones so I store this number okay let's say uh, I store this in some variable called last I store that this result okay this two is stored here now after that I am going to pick the last string that is this string so when I pick this string I am again going to calculate the number of ones in this string so how many number of ones are there only one okay now I find that there are two ones in the third and only single one in the fourth then again now I'm going to uh, multiply the result okay multiply the t times this again these two steps multiply the t times so here last time you know total 2 and this time 1 so total result is 2 and now we have to store the number of ones from the last row but now uh, this condition is not needed because after that there is no row okay so it is not required so now just we are going to add the result so here the result is 6 and here the result is 2 so when I add these two results I get the answer output as 8 so first between 1 and 3 there are total 6 laser beams and from 3 to 4 there are total 2 laser beams so total answer is 8 so that's all that we are going to do as part of this problem so I think it's very simple it should be of easy level I think but yeah it's medium given but it is very easy problem okay so without any delay let's get started now so here first uh, declare one integer variable so let's say int answer is equal to 0 and int last is equal to 0 so in last we are going to store the number of ones that we get in the last row okay now after that <coughs> here in the problem you see that this is the string given to us okay so here first we are going to access this string okay first we are going to access this string so for that just write for this is strings are given now so just write for string b colon bank okay so now first we are going to access this string only so now let's say I'm, I'm I'm going to count the number of one how many times it is in this string okay so for that let's uh, in, in, uh, declare one integer of type variable in t is equal to zero and now after that now here you see that this is a string so I want to go one by one so I need to convert it, it into the care array okay so for that just write for care c colon this is the b first time so b dot to care array okay so I here convert it into the care array and now I am going to check if the first if this value is 1 or not okay if 
c is equal to is equal to 1 then in that case I am just going to increment the value of this t so here just write plus plus t okay and also I have told you one thing that if there is no one in any row then we are simply going to discard that row so for that purpose mainly I am going to write here if t is greater than 0 only then we are going to perform this action what action this these two action okay so first we get how many times the number of one okay from this we get the number of times one in this row okay so now I am going to just simply write here if t is greater than 0 then if t is greater than 0 then answer is equal to answer plus last into t and in the last we are going to store the value of t okay so here as i told you we are just if in this row i get number of t's and in this i get number of t's so then after i am going to multiply last into t okay and i am going to store that value into the ans ans is equal to 0 plus 6 so for the first time let's say in this first row i get 3 and then here i get 2 so ans was 0 initially so i get the first value of ans as 6 and in the last i store this value of this row last is equal to 2 okay then again a loop comes here it goes here then I will get the value of ans as ans is 6 ans is 6 now plus last is 2 into 1 okay so is equal to 8 okay so here last is stored as in the next, next step last is stored as 1 but now the since the loop is complete so again in the end we are just going to return this ans okay so here just add in the end return an return ans okay so <clears throat> this is the code so let's try to run it and see if there is any issue with our code so both the test cases have been accepted let's try to submit this code so some so our solution is accepted here so if you guys don't know how to use this uh, loops in this way so you I, I will add one uh, medium block link in the description you can check the code from there I uh, here is the medium block link so here uh, you can see this is the code and if you want to use the traditional for loops then you can refer this code so both code will work okay so I hope that you guys are able to understand this problem and if you like this video then please share and subscribe my youtube channel till then keep coding and keep practicing and I will meet you in the next video okay thank you